What's up guys? So we finally finished re-rolling here about 50 or 60 times. I lost track of how many re-rolls. We finally got an account that had two five stars with Takumi in it. That was my like must have. So Takumi, as you can see, we've been leveling him up and then the, here is Roy, our second five star. Roy is not, you know, S tier or an amazing, amazing unit, but he is a five star. So at, at this point of the game, any five stars are amazing. So you'll notice that our other two units that we got, we only actually did four summons in this game. Our three star units, so we definitely need to upgrade them. And uh, now we can actually send out our friends code. So I know a lot of you have been asking about my friends code. So here we go, guys. My friends code will be listed here. You can see it. Please send me a request. I'll accept as many people as I possibly can. It is going to fill up, though. So if you want to add my friends code, you want to be friends at Fire Emblem Heroes, make sure that you do it probably today. Uh, because after that, it's, friends code is going to be filled up. I don't know how many users we can have here, how many friends we can have in-game. But we will eventually cleanse them of people that aren't playing. So if you don't play for about three or four days, we'll probably cleanse you, get rid of you. Keep checking, keep trying to send your friends request over here if you're actively playing Fire Emblem Heroes. So there it is, our friends code is right there. Let's take a look at what we've actually been doing in game here. Because now we've got a, a good squad. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to click on this tower up here in the top right. This green castle button. And you want to upgrade your castle as soon as possible. Boost your unit EXP. We've boosted it all the way up to 80% EXP boost. Kind of on the fence here because I do need some new units. So I haven't boosted it up to 100% yet for 10 orbs. I'm actually going to go ahead and do some more summons right now for you guys. We're going to probably do 3 or 4 summons maybe depending on what the color of the orbs are. And uh, try and get some better units here. Now at this point, you're just leveling up your character, so you're going into the battles, you're doing the story maps, you're doing the training tower. The training tower is amazing for experience. All the stamina costs are cut in half right now. So it is going to cost double the stamina after about a week when this event ends. So get in here and train your units. And something that you want to note, right now my Takumi is actually too high to gain any experience points from this level. You got to be about three or two levels within the enemies to gain experience points. So if you ever notice that your units are not gaining experience points, even though they're killing enemies, that's because they're too high of a level. You want to make sure that your other units get the experience points. And then we're being told that if the units die in battle, even if they've leveled up or even if they've gained experience, they will not keep that experience points. So you do want to keep your units alive. It is a little tricky to level up, you know, weaker units. So you can see our three-star units here are lagging behind. We have an Axeman here at 16, and then we have our Axe Weaver Rider at 19, whereas our Takumi is just soaring up there at 22, and Roy is at 20. Reason being is because Roy and Takumi just, they demolish opponents being five stars, and then Roy and Takumi pretty much never die since they are five stars with higher stats. So... Three stars are definitely a lot harder to level up. You got to use a little bit of strategy. We've been using pretty much the auto fight as, you know, time has progressed here. Auto fighting throughout. Let's go do some summons now. I'm going to pause just for a second to see which units we actually want to try and get. Probably going to summon in the deep devotion here. All right, so bringing up the trusty Fire Emblem tier list from the wiki. Let's take a look. And it looks like we don't have any swordmen right now or red mages. We got two green Axemen, so we're kind of good on greens. We might actually want to just summon in this banner right here because um, Lucina is an S. We have the Dragon Chick, I believe Tiki is an S. We have, well, Marked is an A, which is A. Eh. And then we have Robin, which is also an S. So those units probably be what we need to kind of round out our squad here. So let's go ahead and summon in this banner now. Since we already got the Takumi, and we already got Roy from the other banner. So at this point, we're not going to summon on this gray-white orb. We don't want anyone over there. There is no boosted heroes in that, that orb. We are going to summon on the blue one here, the blue one, and then the red one. 
We'll summon on those three, and we'll see how our luck goes to see if we want to even summon on our green one. We already have enough green guys. We have two Axemen. All right, Shanna. So we scroll down here, and I don't think Shanna is really worth much. Nope. Beats here. Also a three-star unit. So here we go again. Blue Crystal. I really, really like this summoning system. Oh, another three-star, and that's probably going to be down here. Where did she go? I don't even see her. She's that bad. She's not even on the list, guys. Oh, no, she's right there. All right, so we got two pretty crappy units. We're definitely going to need some help here, guys. We're going to need some help in our red summon. Oh, we got Krom. That's definitely helpful right there. So four-star unit, one of the S-tier units. Definitely going to help out our squad there. Increase our power levels. It's going to be over 9,000, guys. So should we go for green? I'm leaning towards no. We're going to save our pearls here or our orbs. And then go maybe come back in here once we get like 15 or 20 again. And then try and do some more summons. So there we go. Our friends code, our squad, our units, what we've been doing in game. Thanks for watching. Good luck, guys. Post your squad. Are you guys finished re-rolling right now? It takes a lot of effort and energy to re-roll for sure. But it is definitely worth it. We are just crushing through the game. We can auto-battle almost every stage now. Haven't had like literally any trouble auto-battling with our two five-star units. So good luck, guys. Let me know your squad when you finish re-rolling. Did you get really lucky? Did you get two SS tiers? Hector, I hear, is amazing, but there's no rate up for Hector, and so people go crazy trying to summon Hector. So, good luck, guys. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.